Hey guys, welcome to the video. So I got an email from, not an email, I got a DM from somebody in my private mentoring group, links below, about his progress. And I thought that you guys would find this information useful as well. So they've learned HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript, and now they want to get into contracting. So I'm going to just read the email very quickly. Uh, Nice, concise email, three bullet points, I like. I want to start freelancing as soon as possible. Should I complete the Foundations PHP and SQL course first or WordPress tutorial? What type of freelancing work should I be looking for? Sites from scratch, editing existing sites, be it WordPress or any non-CMS type site? And his third question was, should I try Upwork first or volunteer work? So. I'll just answer. So start with number one, I want to start freelancing as soon as possible should I complete the foundations in SQL. Not required. If you're going to be working with WordPress or building very simple websites, you don't need to know PHP and especially SQL. You use SQL if you want to start doing database work. That said, if you're working with WordPress or any other content management system, any of the big three, WordPress, Drupal, and Joomla, although those latter two are fading quick, so it's, it's all WordPress really these days. Anyway, so if you're working with WordPress, it is based on PHP and SQL. If you want to get into WordPress plugin development later on or WordPress theme development, knowing PHP, well, plugin development, knowing PHP is an absolute must. Uh, theme development is not an absolute must, will make your life easier. So I suggest to him that, uh, yes, I'll just read what I suggested. Yes, you can get them done quickly. That's the PHP and the SQL course. And, the, and they will help you understand what WordPress is doing behind the scenes, which will make your life easier as a WordPress developer. So the next question was, what type of freelancing work should I be looking for? Sites from scratch, editing existing sites, be it WordPress or any other, or any non-CMS type site. Whatever you can get. You see, the way you develop skills very quickly as a developer, a coder, a web designer, a back end, front end, full stack, whatever, is you wanna get into the game starting to build simple things. So what I have people do in the mentoring program is to once they get through the foundations, to go out there and secure uh, some free gigs, free work that you can do, well, for free. Why for free? It takes the pressure off you, a lot easier to land those gigs because you're new. And essentially, you're gonna be doing your stash. You're gonna be learning how to find clients, how to talk to and deal with people. I teach people to run the free contracts like you would a paid contract. So you use the contract templates I provide and you properly run it and track it accordingly. It's just a good way to flex your development skills. Any experienced developer will tell you, development's a lot more than just writing code, and this is how you get into that. So yes, uh, any type of work that you can grab, do it, because it's just gonna flex your skills. So then his final question was, should I try Upwork first or volunteer work? Whatever works, whatever works. You gotta think about the first two to three, two to three, free projects that you do as training, as they're training for you. They're learning to build things. Now, who knows? I know some people who were able to get paid right away. Some people, not so, not so much. They have to do a couple of free jobs, which is normal. When I first started out, after having built my own sites for my own business, and then I went freelancing after I sold my first business, I did the first few projects. I think I, did, I got paid, I got paid for sure, but um, they were low, not very good, not very good pay relative to where it was going to be within a year or so. Uh, so yeah, your first jobs that you do for a third party, whether it be a small business startup, whatnot, they're going to be, uh, you're not going to make any money or not much money. That's normal. You're getting paid, you're getting, you're learning, you're learning, right? So there you go. I hope that helps. Uh, if you're interested in mentoring with me, a developer from 1994, and a highly experienced educator. I've been working with schools for over a decade now, developing a curriculum, studio web curriculum, that's used by some of the most um, forward-thinking and prestigious districts in the US. Hit me up, links below.